What's going on guys? It's Carl here back with another very special video. You can see in front of me, we have the brand new 2019 MacBook Pros that have just landed in the studio. They just got a low key refresh the other day from Apple. No big announcements, but we did get these with a very decent spec bump. Unfortunately, we did not get a design refresh and those normally happen on four year cycles. So that was kind of expected. I know out in WWDC, which I will be attending Pending in the next week, there is the rumored 16 inch MacBook Pro. Not sure if we'll see that because we did get, of course, the 13, the 15. So let's get to the unboxing and take a look at Apple's latest line of MacBook Pros. Let's start off first with the 13 inch though. So the model that I grabbed here was the baseline. So you can see 2.4 quad core Intel i5, eight gigs of RAM, which you can of course upgrade to 16, 256 gigs of storage and the Intel Iris Plus graphics. Unfortunately, you cannot upgrade the 13 inch to the fabled eight cores, but that's totally okay. Obviously that will be coming in the larger 15 inch. We will get this guy off. Of course, I've got mine in space gray. You can still get it only in those two colorways. Let's stick this guy off to the side and take a look what you get in the box. Designed by Apple in California, standard power brick, of course, USB-C cable, all the warranty info, MacBook Pro, and of course the good old white Apple stickers and nothing too revolutionary, but still some of the best unboxing statuses. As you can see, the 13 inch is fully set up. We have this guy in dark mode. Let's get this guy off to the side. Let's get the 15 inch. All right, this is the behemoth that you want to see. So for this guy, I ended up getting the higher baseline model. This starts at $27.99. It of course comes with eight cores, the first time that a MacBook Pro can be spec with that. You can also upgrade this to 32 gigs of RAM. I only got 16, 512 gigs of storage. You can also get, I think, a four terabyte version. And that fully specced out one will run you $65 hundred dollars so in by no means cheap and if you did end up purchasing a macbook pro i'd say like a year ago just like i did you might feel slightly duped with this latest upgrade is that worth the upgrade if you have last year's yeah. Obviously the unboxing experience, very, very nice. We got that out. Let us of course take a look. Same power brick, just slightly larger on the 15 inch USB-C cable and inside of here remains the same. Designed by Apple in California, MacBook Pro, and of course those fabled stickers. Almost thought I lost that one here. All right, this guy we will switch around and just like of course the 13 inch, once this guy is opened up, plastic comes off. This should automatically start to boot up as we see the Apple logo right there. So just like the 13 inch, the 15 has touch ID and that's with the T2 chip. So we'll quickly set this up, placing my fingerprint, moving that around. And I find that I use that more and more when I make purchases with my Mac. Setting this guy up shouldn't take too long now. And we will quickly get this guy over to this side and bam, we've got both models completely set up. Let's get this guy centered, phones out of the way. And if we quickly grab my older 2018, crazy to say that it's old now, this is the 15 inch MacBook Pro. It has almost the exact same form factor as this guy. Over on iFixit though, they said that there have been some changes to the actual keyboard and that's just to make it a bit less sticky. Keys won't end up getting stuck as much, but from a design perspective, it has the exact same footprint. Still awesome speakers, still awesome force touch trackpad, which is one of the best. And that kind of has been my very first look and unboxing at the brand new 2019 MacBook Pros. Let me know your thoughts as I will probably be taking my 15 inch over to WWDC to edit all my footage over there. That will be the first time that I really test this guy out. But has this refresh been justified by the eight cores that you can get inside? Obviously very expensive if you end up specking it up. Like I said, $6,500 will be the max you will spend. And for a laptop, that is very, very expensive, but you cannot, of course, replace MacBooks. We'll catch the rest of you in one of my next episodes or vlogs. Peace.